Oh, the former general manager of his team accused of embezzlement tonight. Baltimore Blast owner Ed Hale shares how he learned about what happened with the 11 News I team. Yeah, the former general manager of the Baltimore Blast indoor soccer team has been criminally charged for stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from the team. And we told you yesterday that Gianni Tuminello appeared in Baltimore County Circuit Court. And now we're hearing from team owner Ed Hale, who sat down exclusively with the I-Team today to discuss what allegedly happened. I-Team reporter Tali Taylor is joining us now live. And Tali, Hale has owned that soccer team since all the way back in 1988. Yeah, that's right. And he says Tuminello was working as the team's general manager for about three years before he abruptly quit in April. Then in May, Hale says he became aware that money was missing. In May, I found out that uh, my signature was being forged by Gianni Tuminello to the extent of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Baltimore Blast team owner Ed Hale says checks like this one, allegedly with Hale's forged signature, were found in former general manager Gianni Tuminello's desk. The, the sum of all this is probably four fifty to uh, $500,000 as we sit here. He just stole my money, forged my signature, and betrayed me. All of that brings us to Wednesday, when the state's attorney for Baltimore County filed six criminal charges against Tuminello. Tuminello was released on his own recognizance and did not return the I-team's repeated calls seeking comment. I'm a former CIA agent. So I don't get fooled very often. I got fooled. And Hale alleges Tuminello didn't just steal money through forged checks. And then he would Venmo out of the Baltimore Blast account repairs to his house, um, money that he owed to former girlfriends, um, money for uh, Ravens tickets. While the criminal charges focus on thefts that occurred from January to March, Hale says his team investigating believes it might date back about three years. He's facing up to 60 years in prison and up to $90,000 in fines. What are you hoping happens to him? Just give me my money back and uh, hope that, that this gets on his record so he can't do it to anybody else again. He totally duped me, betrayed me. And I don't get duped or betrayed very often, but this was a big one. And Hale says he's not sure what happened to all the money. He says regardless of what happens in the criminal case, he plans to file a civil lawsuit against Tuminello to get all of his money back. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Tolly Taylor.